guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. If you're new here, this channel is all about beauty and that includes skincare, makeup and fragrances. So today we have another fragrance uh, video. We're going to be talking about this new release from Victor and Rolf. So this is Victor and Rolf Good Fortune Elixir Intense. Uh, this is uh, the flanker of the classic Good Fortune fragrance that was released uh, like one year ago. So the original fragrance is this kind of like a beautiful jasmine composition with some vanilla and some fennel and I find it so unique. I think this is a perfect fragrance for like spring, summer, even autumn to some extent. But it's definitely not perfect for like colder days because this is still like a white floral fragrance but I definitely wouldn't wear it now. I mean I think it's a little bit too cold for the fragrance. This is in fact like a white floral scent. Uh, this jasmine note is quite potent there so that's not something I would use. So when I was buying this fragrance I was really hoping for the kind of like winter colder day version of the original Good Fortune. So before I talk about the fragrance itself, let's have a look at the bottle. I mean, it is so pretty, isn't it? So the bottle style is like very similar to the original one, but this one is much darker. Even the juice has this really deep, dark shade, whereas the original scent was much lighter. I don't know about you guys, but I really like when my fragrances have this really dark juice. I'm not really sure why. I'm not really sure why, but I kind of find it like very satisfying. And you know what? Sometimes you have those fragrances that have like certain extract to actually get darker with time. I love that. So let's talk about the notes here. So in the top notes we have incense, uh, then the middle notes uh, we have jasmine and solar notes, and then base notes of bourbon vanilla, palo santo and sandalwood. And as you can probably quite easily guess just by looking at the notes, this is definitely much heavier much like kind of like darker fragrance than the original one. So first of all, this is more vanilla than floral. I mean, you can still get this like quite potent jasmine note here, but this fragrance is just so much like thicker and richer. Uh, this vanilla note here is very indulgent. There's definitely this woodiness here and it's also slightly smoky. It's not like when you have those like leathery fragrances that give you this extra kind of smokiness, but you can definitely get a little bit of that. So I did mention that I wanted this fragrance to be the kind of like wintery or like cold days version of uh, the, the original Good Fortune. And let me tell you, this is exactly what it is. It's still this vanilla jasmine, but it doesn't really have this refreshing fennel. But instead of that, it has some like woodsy notes, a little bit of smokiness, depth, heaviness. It is so beautiful. And you can wear it like all winter long. This is like a perfect autumnal and wintery fragrance for sure. I also think this fragrance is really beautifully blended. If you're afraid of this incense note that is going to be a little bit of like a church vibe, it's not. When buying the original fragrance, I was actually afraid of this fennel note. I was like, I'm not sure how this is going to smell, but it just worked. And this is a very similar situation. It just works. It's really nicely blended. It's really smooth. Uh, it lasts on the skin really well. It has a good CH2. This is definitely one of those fragrances that will work for those of you guys who like heavy fragrances, like deeper, darker, heavier fragrances. If you like scents, like for example, Alien Essence Absolute, I'm not saying these fragrances are similar, but they're both like uh, jasmine based, heavy, rich fragrances. Other than that, as with like all heavier fragrances, I don't think this is like a proper safe blind buy. If you have an opportunity to go and test it before buying, then that's what I would recommend. You never know how this incense note is going to sit on your skin. So obviously it's better to always test before buying, but I never take my own advice uh, and I always blind buy my fragrances. So who am I to tell you what to do? Anyway, guys, I think this is a really beautiful fragrance. I I'm really glad we have this fragrance now in this kind of like wintery version. Have you tried it? If you have, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. For more fragrance related content, check those videos over here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.